Ever since I was just a wee young lad, I watched my father almost obsessively have the complete inability to control himself when it came to leaving anything alone. He was constantly tearing stuff apart just in case there was a way that he could make something work a little bit more efficiently, go a little bit faster, or make a little bit more power. Whatever it was, the bug bit me pretty early on, and now I also can't leave anything alone either. Needless to say, after owning over 30 vehicles and modifying all of them in some way, shape, or form, I've been able to create a pretty solid list of the best mods that you can buy on for your car, but on a budget. But before we get into all of that, if you're new here, make sure to subscribe and give the video a thumbs up. And if you need anything, wheels, tires, or suspension, you know where to go. Come see the experts at fitmentindustries.com. And if you like random quirky cars, big, fat, smoky burnouts, and or you want to see some behind the scenes action here at Fitment Industries, go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram at seanb.fi. Let's get started. <laughs> Ugh. The art of not wasting money on car parts that end up sucking takes years to master and mostly consists of learning by making tons of mistakes. Luckily for you guys, I've made tons of mistakes of modifying my cars, and now I'm here to pass on my little tricks of the trade to you. So some of these may be a little bit controversial, but everything on this list will provide a great deal of value for the dollar, keeping you satisfied longer and not lying awake at night contemplating what kind of excuse you have to tell your significant other on why you spent your vacation money on car parts that didn't even net you the results that you wanted in the first place. So first things first, starting with one of the more controversial ones, we're gonna talk about underglow. Underglow is such an underrated accessory for your car. Yeah, it can be a little bit cheesy and a little bit juvenile, but the way Underglow can spark up a conversation, create some laughs, and help wrap up an overall theme on your actual show car is so damn underrated. And the best part about this boy racer mod, it actually has an on and off switch. So if you're in an environment where Underglow could be a little bit frowned upon and you're trying to make a good impression, you can, you can literally just leave it off. Or if you're rolling up to a friend's house for a pre-meet cruise, pop those bad boys on and be the center of attention for better or for worse. But maybe even better than the versatility is probably the cost. Underglow isn't made from exotic gases and lightning in a bottle anymore. It's easy to install, it's easy to hide, it's made from robust LED light strips that you can pick up at FibonIndustries.com for just $160. That's a lot of fun for not a lot of money. Next up, and catering to the people who drive elite manual transmission cars. A short throw shifter and a nice shift knob can completely change your driving experience on the cheap. Now, how this works is actually really simple. Essentially, all you're doing is changing up the length of the shift lever below the pivot point. Making it longer, even in small increments, can vastly change how long or short your throw is gonna be to change gears. And since this is a part of the car that you use the entire time you drive it, a change like this can make a really, really big difference. Especially if you have an SN95 Mustang like I do and have a five mile throw to change gears before smashing your hands into your drink because the console engineers weren't talking to the transmission guys. And the console engineers apparently weren't talking to the transmission guys when they drew the cup holder. Nice. Anyways, a short throw shifter can be had pretty typically for about $150 to $200. And coupled with a nice shift knob, it can really change the experience you have with your car and it's 200% worth the money. Now, not all cars need a short throw shifter. Some of them are engineered pretty well from the factory, but something all cars do need is window tint. Window tint is hands down one of the best ways you can spend $300 on your car. Not only is tint gonna give you some added security against some thieves and some creeps, it's also gonna keep your interior cooler, which is good for you and your interior, especially if you're one of them side goes with a metal shift knob. I will never forget the time that I went to go get in a turbocharged 370Z with no window tint and a metal shift knob, and I went to go put it into first gear and I burned the absolute f out of my palm. So there's that but it's also gonna make the car a lot better looking as well. I don't think I've ever seen a car that looks better without tint, outside of a few show cars where clear glass is kind of part of its whole aesthetic. And while I can't legally recommend this to you, tinted windshields are the freaking jam. I got some 50% tint on my Mustang's windshield for my very first time and it's been absolutely awesome and I don't think I can ever go back now. And then wheels. Wheels are another big one. I bought cheap wheels and I've bought expensive wheels. And I've got to say right now, I'm in love with rotary form wheels. It's such a great way to change up the look of your car, make it look more aggressive or maybe even just a little bit more tasteful with kind of a factory style wheel. It's really nice. But what I like about rotary forming is that you can get those lightweight attributes of like a high performance wheel without sacrificing that look that you want and without breaking the bank. We believe in this so wholeheartedly that we actually started our very own wheel company. Maybe you've heard of it. Artists of Art Form Wheels to bring you guys deco directional, lightweight, great looking wheels while keeping the pricing around that $1,000 mark because we believe in good value. 
We also believe in guaranteed quick delivery. We're talking about 10 business days and these bad boys are gonna be at your door. Don't get it twisted. This isn't a shameless plug. I genuinely cannot believe the amount of value stuffed into these bad man pajamas. We can get them to you faster than the rest, but don't just listen to me about it. Be sure to check out all the five-star ratings across the board. If you wanna check that out, there's gonna be a link in the description for you. But if you have a boosted car, I cannot recommend it going with an aftermarket downpipe enough. 90% of the time, changing out the downpipe on a turbocharged car can free up a solid 10 to 30 horsepower just by changing out that pipe alone for just a couple hundred dollars. And that aftermarket downpipe with a high flow cat, or no cat at all, I won't tell anybody, is also gonna turn up the volume on your exhaust. And what's not to love about picking up a couple extra ponies and making your car louder? There's nothing, there's, there's nothing not to love about that. It's literally probably the perfect mod. But this mod is also a twofold because moving the catalytic converter further downstream and making it larger or deleting it all together secretly sets you up to run more boost in a more aggressive fuel map with an aftermarket tune which is usually good for 50 to 100 horsepower on those boosted applications 50 to 100 horsepower i mean these tunes are more often than not 800 to like 1200 dollars but you know if they're not i would do a little more research so it's probably one of the more expensive mods on this list but it's 50 to 100 horsepower gains with a downpipe yeah to say that downpipes and tunes are the very first things I do on my turbocharged cars is a complete understatement. I usually literally have a downpipe and a tune on order and in the mail before I even get the car home from buying it. They just provide so much for the money that I can't get away from it. It's, it's the perfect first mod. Next up is gonna be tires and tires and tires. Look, I know tires can get expensive really, really fast, but I promise you the tires are the biggest contributor to the performance and the safety of your vehicle. Besides, we're almost always running rebates and sales on tires anyway, so if you haven't seen our today's deals page, I highly encourage you to go do so after the video. If you take two identical 10th gen Civic SIs, give one coilovers and a cold air intake and a tune, and give the other stock one some Michelin Pilot Sport 4Ss, and you throw them on the racetrack to do some hot laps, the one with the better tires is still gonna win that race. So if you are doing any sort of competitive or spirited driving even, tires are going to be the best way to pick up the most performance for your dollar, even when you buy from top tier brands. Tire upgrades aren't just gonna improve your lap times, quality tires are gonna last longer. They're gonna be more safe in adverse conditions and usually they have a longer warranty than their competition as well. Don't sleep on a tire upgrade. They make some of the biggest differences all around. And lastly, ceramic coating your wheels is a great way to spend your hard earned dollar. Now I can't be the only one in the world who has OCD about keeping every nook and cranny of your wheels clean at all times which is a very difficult task, may I add. Always being subject to road debris, paint, tar, brake dust, roadkill, you name it. Cleaning wheels, you know, realistically, it sucked. But one of my biggest discoveries of the year was ceramic coating my wheels and how easy it made them to clean and dry, which is a lifesaver for me and a big time saver for me as well. I mean, hell, just spraying them with a hose gets 90% of them all the shit off. And what I do have left to wipe off takes little to no effort at all. And since the surface is extremely hydrophobic, drying your wheels is also a breeze. I mean, half the water just falls right off and the other half is super easy to blow off with a leaf blower or just, you know, dab it with a towel and voila, no more water spots and super clean wheels. That's why I was super stoked when we started offering coatings for you guys in the checkout process, because this means you're gonna get your wheels ceramic coated fresh out the box from new to be fully protected forever with the zero chances of having any debris under that coating. So what are your go-to mods on a budget? Are you going straight for visuals? Or are you trying to add a little bit of power? And which ones have you tried and which ones have you tried and failed at? Let me know in the comments. And if you guys wanna see more videos just like this one, make sure to slap that thumbs up and leave your ideas down below. I try to read them all. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell so you don't miss any of the crazy builds coming your way. And of course, you know where to go for all things wheels, tires, and suspension, fitmentindustries.com. I'm Sean, Sean B. on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you later. Peace.